right, welcome to my actual desk in my office, and today I'm going to give you my six-part strategy to really effectively prevent a lot of the conditions that are happening at your desk. Uh, we've done Facebook Live interviews. We've got one more coming up at the end of this week on the topic of health and wellness for uh, the desk worker, and so I've been spending a lot of time over the years working with the desk sitting population, and so I really wanted to give you a breakdown of what I feel can help you prevent some of the issues that are going on. So the first one is, is strictly just awareness. Uh, whenever I do anything, whether it's injury prevention for runners or other sports or the desk worker, it's always trying to get them the understanding of how these... All right, we're back on. We had wire wireless connection there. So the first one is awareness. And we really want to make sure that you understand how this is becoming a problem and what to do about it. So we do a lot of different things. That's why we have the Modern Desk Jockey Podcast. It's what we're doing with companies. We're trying to effectively get the awareness around what's happening to the desk workers. So that's number one is understanding all of the different things that can go on uh, when you sit at the desk. So that's part one. We try to do a lot of free information for that. So I hope you're keeping up with that. That's obviously part of this whole uh, Facebook Live interview series we're doing is trying to educate you on uh, health and wellness at the desk. Uh, number two is ergonomics. Uh, you really want to make sure your ergonomics is is proper. Uh, we do a lot of training in ergonomics. Again, it's making sure that we fit you to your workstation. Most of the time, your workstation is fine. Your chair is fine. Unless it's from like the 1970s or something like that, it's probably okay. You just got to make sure you're sitting yourself to that uh, properly and that you're fitting yourself to the chair, chair to the floor, then the chair to the desk, making sure your monitor is correct, and making sure that obviously your mouse and keyboard is okay. Uh, so again, plenty of episodes on that on our podcast at moderndeskjockey.com. So make sure that you are taking your ergonomics seriously. I can't stress that enough. So uh, make sure you're, you're checking out that uh, podcast. Uh, the third thing is, is you gotta be taking micro breaks, all right? So many people uh, sit for prolonged periods of time and they're not taking the breaks they need to. Every 30 to 60 minutes, you need to get out of that chair. You need to do some stretches. We have the micro break card that you can access for free. Uh, you can go and do walking meetings. You can get a drink from the water fountain. You can go and talk to one of your colleagues instead of emailing them or messaging them directly. Just go and tell them what you need to, but really make sure you're implementing your micro breaks every 30 to 60 minutes. That's probably the biggest, besides ergon proper ergonomics, number two in my mind as far as the biggest is really the, the micro breaks. So make sure you're, you're doing that. Uh, number three or number four is the body positioning and awareness. We break this down into three things and that is sternum up. So if I sit with my sternum up, I'm going to be in good posture as you can see there. Once my sternum collapses, now I'm in that rounded posture, and that's whether it's sitting or standing. So if you can cue yourself to sternum up, that's going to really help you out in all kinds of positions, whether it's bending over, lifting weights, fitness, picking up your kid, sitting at the desk, driving. Sternum up is number one as far as the body positioning and awareness. Number two is power zone. So if you do any lifting at your work or anything like that in life, you want to make sure you keep everything at like below the shoulders and above the waist and not too far out to the side. So we have this power zone, which is like a box that if you keep the weight into there, it's going to really uh, help you out as far as preventing some of the injuries. And number three is abdominal bracing. And that's just keeping a muscular corset. Like right now I'm bracing my abdominals. It's almost like if someone were to give me like a stomach jab there, uh, that would um, cause me to brace my abdominals. And right now I'm bracing and I'm breathing and I'm talking. So you should be able to do that. It's not a sucking in that we see so many people do. It's more of a bracing that gives you this muscular corset around your spine. So when you're doing any type of activities or even sitting, you can work on this. Now you don't have to brace your abdominals during sitting all the time, but it's a good core activation to, to work on. And so if you can apply those three body positioning and awareness, you're going to prevent a lot of the injuries and activities of daily living and at work, so that's a big one. Uh, number five and six kind of go hand in hand, but there's more to number six than there is to five. So number five is proper posture, and that is, uh, first is the awareness with sternum up, which we talked about, but it's also working on some of your muscular imbalances that are causing pro improper posture. And so we discussed, um, you can look in the, the podcast again, moderndeskjockey.com, and there's an episode on the upper cross syndrome and the lower cross syndrome. I really highly recommend listening to those. It gives you some correctives on uh, on fixing that. So uh, make sure you, you check that out as well. 
Um, and then number six, and lastly, is corrective exercises. Really need to, even if you're very active, we have, we talk about the active desk jockey where you sit at a desk but you're super active. Maybe you play golf a lot. Maybe you your fitness five, six days a week or you're a triathlete. Any type of activity, we're still finding that what ends up happening if you don't do corrective exercises, you actually will take the dysfunction and the deconditioned syndrome from the desk and it'll go to the bike if you're a cyclist or it'll go to your golf swing or it'll go to tennis or it'll go to the gym with you and you end up with these overuse injuries. So you really need to incorporate corrective exercises into your uh, routine uh, to make sure you're doing that. Um, all the information that I kind of discussed here was actually in a podcast. I mentioned it a lot, but you can look at that. But also you can go to our website, healthfitchiro.com, and I'll put that in the comments section. And you can actually sign up. There's a tab, the Healthy Desk Jockey. You can get 10-day uh, free trial to where you can access a lot of this information for the desk uh, jockey. So I encourage you to check that out. All kinds of t information on that. You can subscribe to the podcast. It's on uh, Monday morning releases and it gives you all these little nuggets and some good interviews as far as um, uh, people in the corporate wellness uh, space. So that's my six part strategy. Make sure you're implementing that. It'll go a long way to preventing uh, many of the overuse uh, strain and pain conditions uh, that the desk worker is uh, suffering from.